So today we're going to talk about the EcoFlow Delta Pro and the problem that I'm having with them. So far they are actually a very impressive unit, especially for off-grid solar use. They have a massive AC output, lithium iron phosphate, they're expandable, and you can run 240 volt loads. And that's what this adapter is for. So we have two EcoFlow Delta Pros in the middle and then two expansion batteries on the outside. But I've run into a very strange problem when I use the 240 volt adapter with my Tesla charger, it does not want to charge. And as some of you guys know on solar generators with floating neutral, if you bond the ground in the neutral, you'll be able to charge an EV with the 120 volt receptacle. But I found a new issue. So first off, this adapter has a generator plug. And what I wanted to do to charge my Tesla is use an adapter to a NEMA 650, just like this. And you turn it on by pressing this button. Now from hot to hot, we have 240 volts. Hot one to ground is 120, and hot two to ground is 120. And the reason I'm using a 650 over a NEMA 1450 is the 1450 has a neutral and a ground, and these are not connected. And with most solar generators, you'd have to connect these two together to make this charger work. So I figured if I have the right voltage here, this is perfect, this should work. But if I plug it in, it does not work. We have the error light. And would you look at that? Unable to charge with mobile connector. Inadequate outlet grounding. Try a different outlet. But how would it know if it has the appropriate voltage? I use this mobile charger with a floating off-grid solar power system and there is absolutely zero ground and it charges just fine. Why is it when it's connected to this, it will not charge? Now get this, I thought, okay, maybe there's some magic going on. It needs an electron sink through ground and it can sense that somehow. I, I don't know how they could, but what I did is I made my own grounding conductor. And this is it, two extension cords with the ground connected. So I plugged it in right here and I plugged it into the wall. And let's turn it off and turn it back on again. And we obviously still have the error code. I did not think that that would fix it, but I wanted to try it anyways. It should only be able to see the voltage over here. So there's something going on with this ground that I just can't simply understand. What if we connect the ground of this to the ground of that? Uh, no, I don't wanna do that. So what I did is I emailed EcoFlow and I told them my problem. And they said they would ask their engineering team. And then the next email, they said that this configuration does not work with their unit. And that's a big bummer. The big test I wanted to do that would be a fun video is to charge a Tesla off-grid with these EcoFlow Delta Pros. I mean, how cool would that be? But it simply does not work. Um, and that's a bummer. So I'm gonna have to actually make some other videos on how to test this. I could run a mini split air conditioner, I believe, with this 240 volt adapter. But yeah, EVs, for some reason, it doesn't like it. I need to buy some other EVs to charge with because I'm getting tired of Tesla for obvious reasons I've mentioned in previous videos. So hopefully I'll get another EV that we can test with because this might be only for Tesla. Maybe it works for other chargers. Something else I could do is use a J1772 car charger and then use a Tesla adapter to charge from that. Maybe we will not get the error code that we're getting right now. Now, besides that, these are very impressive units and I'm gonna hook up some solar to these today. I also added some hardy board on the wall behind it so I can test new solar generators right here. And then we have two 20 amp receptacles, each with their own supply. So we'll be able to test all sorts of solar generators here in the next year or so. Anyways, I wanted to share this problem and see what you guys have to say. So I hope you guys like the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.